Hi, I'm going to show you how to use my project timeline template. This demonstrates the overview, the big picture of a project's life and gives milestones or phases and tasks which you can add and delete and rename. Uh, what this helps to do is to show your project team and project stakeholders what the phases of the project involve and how long they'll take. And you can also update this as you can see with the green bars. You can see the percentage of completion that these tasks are almost complete. These tasks have just been started. These ones haven't yet been started. Now a useful feature of this template is this line today which shows where we are. And this can be updated uh, based on the formula or the date you enter there. You could either enter equals today or you could enter a hard-coded date. I'll show you that in my um, explanation later. So you see, watch this today line. As I up, if I change the date there, this will move to the right. 6th of January, 7th Jan, 8th Jan, 9th Jan, 10th Jan, and so on. So basically the features of this timeline are you've got this today line, you've got durations of each phase and each task and you've got this orange bar here too and you can see from the chart legend this orange bit shows what's at risk so originally we had an estimate of how long this task would take this task 3.1 and we think now that it's going to overrun by this amount that in a nutshell is this project timeline template and you can find it for download at my website www.launchexcel.com forward slash timelines dash in dash excel now when you download this free template uh, you're going to get this tem uh, template contents page which shows you each of the tabs and here the hyperlinks are clickable so if you wanted to go to timeline you'd click on that or data you'd click on that and I've got 10 different steps in this worksheet which take you from uh, looking at the finished timeline which you can actually use straight away all the way through from the beginning, how do you create each of the data series, how do you add a format and what you need to do to make it look right and make it look like what I've done just now. Uh, and I've got a little bonus of how to add the at risk data series. So let me show you what's in the rest of this worksheet. The first tab is the finished project timeline. This is the bit you can use straight away. You can copy this to another workbook, uh, update it with your own data. The second tab is an empty tab, has no, no chart in it, but it does have the, the data. So the data is down here below, you can see down here. And what this is good for is if you want to start right from the beginning, but you don't have any of your own data just yet, you just want to play with the idea of a timeline, you can copy this tab and use this one uh, I follow my instructions which I've got online by the way on my article and start from the beginning the third tab uh, is this one which shows just adding the scatter diagram so you've just got the plot of the dates you don't have anything else sheet 4 we've got the chart formatting cleared up a bit removing the grid lines and the y-axis. Sheet 5, we've added some grey bars. You can see here, these are the duration of the events. So the phase 3 lasts this long, task 1, task 2, task 3. And we've got these drop lines down just to give you an idea of whenabouts they, they uh, appear on the time scale. Sheet 6, adding another data series, sheet 7 formatting that second data series and sheet 8 bringing out that second data series so you can see the completion. So this is a, this, these green bars they belong to another data series and I've formatted them to be wider than the original grey bar and green so you can see an estimate of how long uh, how, how much, sorry, how much the event has progressed or the task has progressed and as you can see from here, phase 1 is almost complete, phase 2 is about 75% complete, phase 3 is just got started, maybe 20%, and phase 4 hasn't got started at all. In sheet 9, 
uh, I've added the today line and that's a third data series. Sheet 10 I add these chart legends which are actually text boxes which you can float around. You can reposition and change their colouring. I find them much more flexible than the standard Excel chart legends. And the bonus sheets uh, I show you how to add this extra data series for the at risk uh, the at risk tasks which are ones we think are going to overrun all right so that was the template i hope you enjoy it and feel free to leave some comments on my article which you can find at launchexcel.com forward slash timelines dash in dash excel where I've actually got some fuller instructions on how to actually complete this. So to accompany the download, you can read through my online article, and that should take you step by step through most of the tricky bits. I hope you enjoy it. As I said, feel free to download and comment, and I'll see you soon. Bye.